everyone, it's Aaron, and I thought I'd just read you a story that Tracy left in the general text chat in the Got A Minute Discord here. It's a very encouraging story. I kind of laughed and cried along with her in her story here. And um, here we go. So this is Tracy writing in the general chat. Guys, I know we're weary. I know sometimes we feel like the weight of this world is too much. But let me tell you, he is always working for our good. Always. This may not seem like a wow moment to most because some are looking for jobs right now. Some are looking for money or food. Some have, have family who are lost or needing healing. And I want you to know that he is working in the unseen. You just wait and see what God can do. This is such an answered prayer. See, we recently moved and felt the Lord telling us to plant a garden. So I watched all the videos, brought all the seeds, did all the things. We were still in Vegas, and I knew we were going to be getting to Florida late in the growing season. So I planted so many plants before I left and planned on transporting them on our road trip to Florida. I bought the grow lights, used the heating mat, did all the things to get these seeds going. And they grew so well. And then, well, every single of those plants died on the road trip. So we had to replant seeds when we got here. I wasn't willing to give up that easily when the Lord tells me to do something. They are all going, growing incredible. Then these bugs called yellow flies came around. They are the meanest little bug I have ever encountered. They attack at the first sight of people and even get through their clothes. I had welts all over my body, and so did one of my kids. My mom came over one day and got 11 bites and ended up with a fever for four days, and her bites turned black. Ah, oh, man, that's not fun. So to keep everyone safe, we didn't get go out to the garden much at all besides to water. I waited a few weeks and went to see how things were doing. The tomatoes had a ton of worms and were dying, and all of the garden was covered in weeds. Oh, I then got kidney stone and hurt my back. It was a mess. I literally felt like I was useless and everything was falling apart. I cried and had a day of, why did you even tell me to plant this garden, God? Why, when you knew it wasn't even going to work out? Now I'm hurt and can't even help. I came into the prayer room and prayed against these spiritual attacks with some sisters and brothers in Christ and started thanking God for already pr providing the garden what it needs. This was hard to do after seeing the garden. Today, my husband decided to go and see how it was looking. I prayed against those flies before we went out and not one single one flew around us. And then I saw it. A cucumber. What? And a pepper? And the biggest zucchini I've ever seen. Yay! I freaked out. I started singing, God, you are so good. God, you are so good. God, you, you're so good. You're so good to us. When, he, when we had gone out, all the other times I saw rotten tomatoes, bugs everywhere, and the garden covered in weeds. I had no idea what was happening where I could not see. But one week later, this is what the Lord showed me. He always, He is always working things out for our good. He's doing things we don't even realize because we are forced Focused on the weeds and rotting fruit. And here's a few pictures of her cucumbers and peppers and things like that. And so there you go. I just wanted to have a little story time. Thank you, Tracy. Um, you rock, sister. Thanks for sharing that story with us. And thank you uh, for letting me share this on YouTube. All right. And it reminds me of Romans uh, 8.28, which is right here. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are called according to his purposes. So remember, whatever you're going through, even if you don't understand it, God is working. Amen. Be blessed. One day closer. Bye-bye.